Most physics courses will include problems like this one, in which you're given mass and force information, and you have to calculate an acceleration. But exactly how do you use Newton's second law to solve for acceleration? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. A highly popularized equation in physics is F net equal ma. It is often written as a equal F net over m and referred to as the Newton's second law equation. It expresses the relationship between acceleration, net force, and mass, and it is often used to solve problems like this one. To solve a Newton's second law problem, you need to understand more math besides F net equal ma. First, you need to understand the relationship between the net force and the individual force values. The net force is the combined effect of all the individual forces and is often related to a force diagram. Each force is represented by a vector arrow. Their numerical values are listed. The effects of the up and down force cancel each other, but the right force is 25 newtons greater than the left force, making the net force 25 newtons to the right. Second, the down force is gravity and is related to the mass by the equation F grav equal m times g, where g is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Third, know that the up force and the down force balance each other whenever there is no vertical acceleration. This allows you to equate the up force with the down force. And fourth, Sometimes you must calculate the force of friction from knowledge of the normal force and the coefficient of friction, mu. Use the equation F fricked equal mu times F norm. There are two general types of problems. In the first type, all individual force values are either given or can be calculated from the given information. You must use these force values to calculate F net and then the acceleration. In the second type, you're given the mass and acceleration and some individual force values. You must calculate F net and then use F net to determine the unknown value of an individual force. I will do an example of each type of problem. Here is an example of a type 1 problem. Whenever possible, use the given information in your math relationships to calculate as many force values as possible. Record them on the diagram. Calculate F graph. Equate this with F norm. Now calculate F friction. All individual force values are now known. Determine the net force. The vertical force is balanced. Subtract the smaller horizontal force from the larger horizontal force. Now you know F net. Use A equal F net over M to calculate the acceleration. Here is an example of a type 2 problem. Calculate as many individual force values as you can, like F graph and F norm and F fricked. But not all individual force values can be immediately calculated, like F applied. The acceleration is given in these types of problems. Use it with mass to calculate the F net. Indicate the direction of F net, always the same direction as A. Now you can use F net to determine the unknown force value, F applied in this case. If the F net is directed right, then the right force is bigger than the left force by F net. You can write F right equal F left plus F net. If the left force is bigger, you would write F left equal F right plus F net. In this case, the applied force is 34 newtons bigger than the friction force, so the applied force is 145 newtons. Some students are stumped when there is only one horizontal force. No need to be. The horizontal force, whether it be F fricked, F applied, or F tension, is an unbalanced force and equal to F net. The math is actually simpler in these cases. It takes practice to perfect a physics skill. The description section of this video includes some links to some pretty awesome interactive exercises on our website. Take a look. Give one of them a try. Make sure you got this. Hey, I'm Mr. H, and thank you for watching.